Chapter 4 The next afternoon, his life is turned upside down. His usual route progresses as usual, with one exception. He notices a passenger who lingers in the rear of the bus and never gets off at any of his stops. Finally, at the, at the last stop for the day, he makes his way down the aisle and speaks to the lady. Can I help you, miss? This is my last stop and you need to get off. Do you need my help? Is everything all right? Thank you, sir. I'm fine. I just need to sit here for a while. I'll get off now. Maybe tomorrow things will be different. Raph has no idea what she means, so he puts it out of his mind. He has a family to get home to, and he has done all he can. Lily's mother comes to visit, knowing what full well how much this baby means to be her daughter. She is a perfect little girl and seems to be in good health. Has she been examined by the doc by a doctor? The social services made sure of that. They have been good to work with, and I imagine they will be checking up on her often. Ralph drives in and sees his mother-in-law's car parked in this spot. Just what I need, he thinks as his stomach starts to rumble. He plants a smile on his face and takes a deep breath. Hi, Martha. Good to see you. What do you think of our little visitor? Ralph is especially cordial as he had a turbulent history with his mother. He feels obl obligated to keep the peace. There you go again, Ralph. You don't have to keep reminding me she doesn't belong to us. I certainly know that. I didn't mean anything by that, Lily. Just take it easy. See, Mom, I told you he wasn't any help when it comes to the baby. If we were to keep her, it'll... Because I alone will fight for her. Let's just drop and enjoy your mother's visit. Thankfully, Martha was only able to stay one day, as that was just about the limit for Ralph.